Okay, so good morning. Okay, good morning to everybody. Uh, I don't really look so good this morning. I usually typically look better on more, most mornings, but for some reason today my skin is just weird. So, but today I decided that the day when I kind of look weird is to make a video about my skincare and makeup routine. Um, first in the morning, I take a moisturizer and I put this on. It's a new Avon, um, and I do. I put this on every morning and then it's like sunscreen and it's a moisturizer and it makes my face really smooth and nice and I also it comes with the eye cream that I put on every morning just basic stuff and after that I just put on sunscreen and I reapply sunscreen throughout the day and especially if I'm in the sun I wear just a lot of sunscreen because I'm pale and also <laughs> um was good to any sunscreen work uh What's good about sunscreen is that your skin, most skin damage is uh, from the sun, and a lot of aging is from the sun, so if you wanna look good when you're older, uh, protect yourself now, and just start start now, and you'll look great. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing it, because my mom has really good skin, and she's never been in the sun, she think. Okay, so the first thing I do in the morning is I put on some concealer and the concealer that I am currently using right now because I'm really pale and uh, is this one and this is the only one I found that's actually my skin color and it's by Tarte and I'm just gonna apply it on and set you somewhere. I hope you don't mind my wiki face but I just take a normal cup like this or something and I take a concealing brush that this is from Barry Minerals and I place a little bit on the cup because when you place a little bit on the cup, rather on your hand, it actually you use more because your hand or your skin absorbs it faster. And I'm really thrifty, so I will do anything to save a buck. Once you do that, you just apply it, apply it on. <laughs> and the places I typically apply it on is my chin, my chin, nos my no around my nostrils, the top of my nose, and under my eyes, and that will be my concealer. Okay, once I just have the concealer done, and I don't know if you can tell my face is different, but I got rid of a lot of dark circles and kind of used it as a highlighter for my face. My nose is really bright right now because of the, the lighting, but um, the next thing I do is I take a powder brush. I got this from Bare Minerals, and I take a foundation of your color, a powder foundation, and I, I just take this... Uh, and I just pat it on my face, I don't blend it. And it makes my concealer last longer and it also um, doesn't make my skin look dewy. I don't like dewy. If you like dewy, then just skip the step. Simple, easy, breezy CoverGirl. I hope I don't get like bad for that. I don't even use CoverGirl foundation. Sorry, CoverGirl. Um, the next thing I do is I do my eyebrows and um, it's a pretty easy process. I there's another makeup video of me doing something different, but I always just change around my makeup. Like, my eyeshadow look today is going to be different than what I normally wear. I just always do something different, and since my hair is darker, I've been going for more of, like, purple eyeshadows because it makes my eyes look greener. So, I'm going to do my eyebrows, and products I use is Anastasia Browis, and I use Anastasia's Brow Powder, which is this here, and a simple eyeliner brush, and... 
basically the goal what you do is first get your eyebrows threaded if you pluck them grow them out as thick as you can then go and get them threaded threaded I say threaded and then um, then do what I'm doing basically I line the bottom very darkly and I lightly line the top and that's pretty much it my eyebrows look like when they're just lined with powder so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna take like line the reline the bottoms and then fix my arches as you can see there's a little eyeshadow there I'm gonna make it dark with a pencil and that's basically what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna blend it out so when you see my eyebrows again they're gonna look a little different okay so once I got this that eyeshadow on kind of looks like this it's just pat on your eye and if they're not even I do that later. Um, the next thing I do is I take that same brush and I take a darker color typically and I do the outer corners of my eyes and for this Naked 3 palette I'm going to mix Factory with Dark Side because I really like that look right now. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I have done the outer corners it kind of looks like this. I simply just take the application brush like this, the pat brush, and I take the lightest color, which in this uh, pat palette it's called Strange, and I pat it on my lids and I pat around my eye to kind of blend everything out. So I pat on the first inner third of my eye, it's the best I could describe it, and I just kind of go around just to kind of blend it out. Okay, so the last step that I do with my eyes is, um, well, besides mascara, is I just take an eyeliner and I go on the outer half of my eye and I just kind of wing it. And I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, I actually don't use eyeliner. I use a black eyeshadow because, um, so I keep looking at my face. I'm just looking at my makeup. Um, I just use a black eyeshadow and my eyeliner brush because I'm cheap and I haven't bought an eyeliner stick in a while. And also... With this, I can control it better, and I can make it better rings, and it can be softer. And this is what I do, basically. It's literally this, that. I just close my eyes, and I just kind of... That's it. Just like that. The next step is easy. I just take uh, my favorite mascara. I take CoverGirl Mascara Lash Blast. And what I do is I just put it on my eyes with a thick coat, like two coats, and then I rim it with the same brand of the waterproof. So waterproof lash, lash blast, blast, lash blast, because it makes my mascara, just one coat of that, makes my mascara look thicker, fuller, and last longer because my eyes water all the time. And I'll show you what that looks like, and that's pretty much it. I don't really do stuff with my lips, so yeah, that's honestly just how I do my makeup. Basically, this is the completed look. The mascara and everything, and this is just what I do. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you guys, every time I ask like for video ideas, this is always requested. And I'll probably make another one. I just like making them. I'm sorry. I need to figure out how to do like better quality, I guess, in filming these. Um, I don't know what makeup artists really do to like film their videos, but this is actually like a bad job. 
of my normal makeup because I got nervous film while I was filming it. And my hands were just shaky the whole time. I, I don't know why. I guess because I was just filming it and wanting to do a good job for you guys. But this is it and I hope it's easy. It really is easy. Makeup is not that hard. <laughs> um, just always experiment and always try new things. That is my advice for you guys. Okay, it's good to see you guys again and I'll make another video later. Okay, bye.